What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. I have some not so good news. Check out my lab results. As you can see, my human growth hormone is 0 0.01 nanograms per deciliter. That is rock bottom barrel. Okay. And here's why. I've had comments from some of you viewers about, you know, was I concerned whether uh, N-clomiphene lowers my IGF-1. I figured because I was taking only one time a week, a quarter of the recommended dose or an eighth of a recommended dose, if you're looking at 50 milligrams, I didn't think it would be a problem. But apparently it is. I growth hormone is so low and I started looking up what growth hormone deficiency what the symptoms were for that and I found out that the symptoms were terrible sleep low sex drive um, gaining body weight body fat excuse me um, and having a difficult time building muscle not getting stronger guys I have been doing enclomiphene for probably about eight uh, eight months straight with a month off in between you know so like four and four when I first started doing it again you know I did a um, cycle of LGD with it and I was getting stronger I was getting stronger even after the LGD and even after I stopped the enclomiphene so my assumption is okay well maybe my IGF was still up at that time my HGH was still up at that time but I think from prolonged use now my HGH has gone down considerably. And it's gone down, I mean, the normal for a man around my age is supposed to be around five nanograms for a deciliter, five whole nanograms. I'm at 0.1. That's huge. So, I'm, I'm gonna stop in clomiphene. I think N-clomiphene can be used, you know, for a time, but it, when you use it uh, for an extended period of time, it can cause this problem. I've been having terrible sleep, and I've also been having body fat and uh, a host of other things that I'm starting to realize, wow, this is from having low growth hormone. Do I think you can do N-clomiphene and get some results with it? Of course. You're raising your testosterone. But your what good is your testosterone being raised if your IGF-1 and your human growth hormone are in the toilet? What are you, how are you gonna build muscle? So, you know, I had a, a viewer, subscriber ask me before, do I think um, anclomaphene should be cycled? At this point, I'm saying yes. I think it definitely should be cycled. Now, where do I go going forward from here? I think going forward from here, I'm going to not do N-clomiphene for a long time. And I'm going to focus on boosting my growth hormone again. Doing various means. Um, I have a video coming out on one of my ways to boost growth hormone. I did that today. So um, that's why I actually took my growth hormone test. And then I have, um, I'm going to boost it through other means. Um, intermittent fasting, fasting. Um, those are going to be ways that I'm going to boost it. My goal now is to stay lean, stay healthy, stay strong. I'm not really looking to get big anymore. It's too much. I don't, I don't wanna eat that much all the time. And I like working out. I'm gonna keep doing that, but you know, I'm gonna keep a smaller physique, something more manageable, not something that I have to take steroids or boost my testosterone or anything like that. Everything that I'm going to be doing through my diet, my exercise, and my lifestyle is going to get me where I want to be. So that's all for this video. I, I figured I had to share because it was it really shocked me and it really explained a lot. So uh, guys, I appreciate you for joining me. Um, leave me a comment. I'd be happy to answer any questions and I will see you in the next video. All right, bye.